Hello YouTube, I found a program today called Sculptress, uh, Sculptrize, I don't know, but it's a sculpting modeler, very much like uh, ZBrush, and uh, it's really, really great, it's really simple, uh, and it's really good for making models with uh, rounded kind of shapes, like people, uh, quickly because doing that in a box model or something can be quite tedious. It can be uh, much more productive to start in a program like Sculptress um, or ZBrush or something like that, apart from this is free. I don't think ZBrush is, I'm not sure. Whoops. Um, so I've got to use Pinch on this corner. That's going to really give it some definition. But uh, of course, uh, my my point of this video is not to actually show you how to use Sculptress. I'm sure there are many other videos, or will be many other videos, that show you how to do that. So as you can see, that that pinch really added definition to that edge. So now I'm going to go to the draw tool. I really like that menu, by the way. Um, now I'm going to do some weird little antennas. And one more. There we go. So we got our three antennas. Uh, so I'm going to make some little antenna bits coming out the side of them as well because it looks cool. There we go. That's our model. That is ready to be simplified in Blender. So now, uh, first of all, actually, I'm just going to smooth that bit off because it looks stupid. Right, cool. So now we're going to do export uh, We're going to do my alien head uh, you can, That means when it goes white, that means it's worked. <laughs> Sometimes it crashes because it's an alpha testing, but. And then when I do that, it should do a weird disappearing act. Oh no, it works this time. Well, anyway. Now that I've exported it, I'm going to go into Blender. Whoa, okay, I can't type. Um, so, hit A twice, hit delete, press enter. That will delete everything. Then go to File, Import, Wavefront.obj. Uh, and then go to wherever your wherever you exported uh, your uh, your model so import it, uh, just leave all these settings, they're irrelevant well they're not irrelevant but they're not required to change so hit A then right mouse click on your model um, uh, so as you can see here you want to be in object mode, if you're in any other mode it will not work so go to object mode then hit F9 or click the uh, editing thing. It's got four black lines with uh, red dots on the corners here. Uh, and then you want to do add modifier and then decimate. And I happen to love that. Decimate, what a brilliant word. Right, as you can see, at the moment it is quite a complex mesh. This would be completely unrealistic to use in a game. <coughs> uh, quite frankly, because if you had more than 10, it would be extremely laggy on, even on many fast computers. So uh, as you can see it imports fine and the exporter is, is fine in Sculptress. So we do add modifier and then we click uh, decimate. And we're going to put that down, I'm going to put that down to 0 0.01 and you see the face count went down from 92,000 or so to 9,234. Now the reason for this, uh, basically ratio 0.1 means that you're decreasing the face count by a factor of 10, I think, something like that anyway. Uh, basically you're dividing the number of faces by 10. So 9,234, that's actually too many vertices for me still, so I'm going to put it down to 0 0.4, 0.04 even. 3692 vertices, that seems fine to me, and as you can see it looks fine in the panel. Now for this to work you must click apply. There we go, it may take a little short while. 
So anyway, we've got our simplified mesh, that's great. So we get a file, export, and now you could export to any anything you want. But you can I'm gonna export it as a dot obj to show you that it loads up fine in um sculptress again, fine. So there we go, and also to compare file sizes. So anyway, I'm gonna save it where I saved the other one, but you don't have to do that, you can save it wherever you want. So okay, I did that wrong. Um so I'm going to call it my alien head simples dot obj. So export that. Leave all these settings again. Don't worry about them. So as you can see here, now our original one was 6.6 .6 MB approximately. Our new one, the simple one, is 115 KB. Now that is an improvement on size. So, Sculptress, I'm going to open it up. Uh, import dodge. I'm going to open the simples one. As you can see, we have lost practically no quality. I mean, we have lost some. But in a game with it textured and, and shaded and things, maybe normal maps and stuff, you wouldn't notice a difference. There is no chance you'd notice a difference. Just by contrast, I mean, just, just get a good look at that now. Uh, my alien head. There we go. I mean, there is a difference. You can see a difference. But the actual, uh, the actual difference in game would be so difficult to see unless you got really up close. So, thanks for uh, watching my video. I really hope you'll try out Sculptress. It's an excellent program. Uh, my hat off to the uh, to the guy who made it. It's brilliant. And uh, remember, it's still in alpha testing, so there will be a few bugs and stuff. But I highly recommend it. It's very good for creating uh, models quickly, uh, that which which are kind of organic. I mean, for making buildings, it's probably not the best program in the world, but. There you go. Enjoy using Sculptress and enjoy simplifying your models for use in your games.